Hello and good evening. How's everyone doing tonight? Hope you all are doing well. I uh, don't have a whole lot to talk about to start us off tonight, so we're just going to kind of jump in here and get going. We've got more... Um, turn the music down a little bit. Um, rings to unlock, and we got to get a couple more people out of the way. So let's see where we are at. Okay, so... Um, who do I need to do a second time? Let's see. Actually, real quick, I need to... Okay, climb grounds. Oh, let's take a quick look here. So the main four are done. Um, there we are. Okay, so yeah, so he's good. Thane, Mercurio, Sana, Amber, River, Zasha... Level two. Okay, so we've got to do Brun still. Um, let's see. Barnaby. I've still got to get level two. Okay. Magna. Sargon. Gore. Alicia. Fang. Griot. Jordana. Uh, Hargrave, I've got to level two. So we're going to. Um, he's going to be my main a little bit later, I think, and I'll try to get him to 10. I've still got to do Twist, Silas, Horus, Scarlet, so the whole Bandit clan. Agnia, Oksana, Nazar. So we'll get a Bandit clan. Scarlet, Horus, Silas, Twist. Yeah, so we'll do a bandit clan tonight, and then probably Brun. We'll start off with Brun. Okay. So, let's do... The Brun. Okay, and we are going to see what do you have currently set up. Uh, yeah, bear clan. Do I want to do bear clan? Have some nice dice. Ancient Gambit. From ancient unknown paws, carved wild wood and the finest gold, these dice have doomed lord and lady alike and made kings of mere kittens. Or kittens of mere kings. I don't know. Uh, wild bounty collection. That's that's a neat one. Um, for him... Mm, yeah, we'll just stick with the bear clan. That's fine. Uh, let's see, what do we have? Uh, magic at dawn, if in a forest. Minus one rot at dawn, if in a stored circle. Um... Okay, well, his magic is only three. And I might want to go for the rot. I still I still need to go for some rot wins. So, yeah, so we'll just do magic and strength. His normal strength is four. So we could bump him up to five. I like that. I kind of want to do him more of his, a little bit of a strength character. So we'll just leave it and select... Okay, and then we've got um, <laughs> three bears and a rat. No, we're not going to do that. Uh, rat, bear, rabbit, uh, bandit, wolf, and dragon. Hmm, yeah, let's do that. Even though she can be hard to face sometimes. Bum, 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 bum. Hopefully that's not too loud. Okay. Also, Narc Vampire, if you are watching, thank you for the follow. I really appreciate that. Whether you watch now or watch later, whichever. But... Armello will always be mine. Oh, will it? All right. Okay, what kind of cards? Let's see, we have Blood Money, Adventurer's Kit. I like Adventurer's Kit. I like Regeneration, so that's good. Um, Berserker, that can be handy. Reaper's Trident. If I'm going for the Rot Win, that can be handy. And you get minus two dice, but you get three swords with poison. And that can do a lot of damage to folks. And Spirit Stone, this is also going to boost my attack, and I'm already at half, so I'm going to have a decent... Shot at getting that one. Okay, I need to turn it down in my own ears here. Okay. Um, let's see. 
Oopsie, it was up that way, yeah? Okay. So let's just go straight for it. Oh, uh, adventurer's kit. Uh, in perils, plus one die. Yes, please. Do that. And I don't like, I never use this one, partially because it costs the prestige. I don't know. Unless you're doing a lot of damage, this isn't very handy. I do like that one, but we're going to save that one. Okay, let's do, let's go and hope we don't get the stranger. Ooh, a teleport? Where are you teleporting me? To a peril. I could gain rot if I lose it, so let's try to lose it. All cards and targets hands change to rot. I don't like the effect, but if I... Oh, it's gain it's gain a rot to... Oh, man, I didn't get a single one. No, that sucked. Okay. That really sucked. Uh... I'm not too far off of where I would have been, because I would have been right there. If I go here... And just hope he leaves me alone. What is his stats anyway? Four, 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 four. Oh yeah, that's right. I remember that now. Um, kind of wanted to get the the village, but we can just go straight there on the next turn, and that's fine by me. Uh, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Ah, just straight for me, huh? Well, if you push me on the mountain, that actually helps my cause, so I'd be cool with that. Okay. Let's just go for it, because um, both my cards are rot now, which sucks. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, this could hurt. He's dead, though. Nice. Nice. What you get for trying to attack me? Get my prestige up there. And I'll be able to get some, so I will use regeneration. I, sh I guess I should have used it. I didn't think he'd try to attack me right off the bat, though. <sighs> but if I'd have used it... Oh, hi, Narc Vampire! It's always nice to see more people getting into Armello. Yes, it has been an interesting game. I have enjoyed it and gotten um, kind of familiar with it. So I don't know how much longer I'll be playing it, but um, I do. I have been enjoying it so far. I like the characters and the setting and everything. Uh, let's see, what do I want? Um, I do want more items. Lord Scepter, one prestige, proclaim settlement, and one gold at dawn. That's pretty good. I can do with that. Let's put that on right now. Also, let's um, use this. I should have used it last turn, but oh well. Uh, let's get a little health back. And go. Um, complete our quest. Okay, Reaper's Trident. And Narc Va Vampire, if you didn't hear me earlier, uh, thank you for the follow. I really do appreciate that. Okay, um, if we fail, we get a rot, which I'm okay with. You personally play it a lot on public multiplayer. The AI can be a little eh for me. Yeah, and that's and I haven't played the um, the online multiplayer yet. Okay, sweet. Um, because I get rot either way on this. Um, so I haven't played against people yet. I'm sure it would be different because the uh, the AI is kind of a pain sometimes. So we're gonna do that. Okay, but we got that. We got some rot coming in. Can't really do anything else, so there we go. Um, I probably should play a little bit of multiplayer uh, and get into that. Because um, there was um, another guy, he hasn't been on for a while, but uh, he was all he also likes, he's a fan of Armello as well. Um, Mon Monstar Gaming. So, I don't know, it might be kind of fun. It's quite different to single player, I bet, I just bet. Okay. Okay, I am prestige leader, so we go the king decrees that taxes are due. Everyone pays two gold 
Or the king's up for a little sport. Bounty on my head, but I get four gold. Or I lose two gold. Everybody loses two gold. Mm. I'll take a bounty. I'll deal with it for now. Okay. Awesome. So, um, how'd you find out about Armello? I just kind of found it on Steam and it sounded interesting, so. Let's see. Spirit Stone, Miner, Masquerade Max. Plus one wits today, Spider it. Man. I don't think I care for that one as much. Mountains, one gold, one shield. Um. You've been playing on and off for five years now. Can't remember how you found it. Okay, well, that's makes sense. It's kind of been on my radar for like four or five years now. I just didn't get to it until recently. Like finally actually do it, so. Um, okay, I don't need that. Let's get a spell. Cool trickery. Yeah. Let's see. But I thought it would make a fun uh, streaming game. Just to kind of check out. I thought I thought there was going to be a lot more, more of a story mode to it, though. I didn't realize it was... Like, the tutorial was really the only story mode, so... Um, well, let's go here. Why not? Alright, cool. Can deal with that. Um, we got two suns and a shield. Yeah, let's burn that one. I'm cool with that. Yeah, not much story in game. There are some novels that talk more about the story and lore, though. Yeah, I've unlocked um, most of. Well, I got all the, those. I haven't read through them yet, but I did see. Uh, if you're talking about the in game novels, anyway. If there's other novels, that'd be cool to get into as well, but. Okay. Uh, unlimited until next turn. I want to use that. I have, well, I have bounty on me now, and he might come after me. So, mm, yeah, because he's probably going to attack me. So, why not? It's cheap right now. It's one gold. Okay. Uh, otherwise, there we go. End turn. Yeah, those. Okay. Yeah, one of these days I might sit down and read it, but I looked at Thane's and it was like 160 pages, and I was like, I don't have time for that right now. <laughs> like, I like reading. I like reading books and stuff like that, but I'm just like, I did not have time. Ow. Taking over my town. That's rude. Left me alone, though, so that's good. <laughs> fair, fair, yeah. Like, if it was an audiobook form, I could definitely deal with that. But, uh, actually sitting down and reading is just hard for me. Just like pleasure reading, you know? It's just hard for me anymore. Um. Oh, one of those again. Sharpshooter, minus one health of target is bounty, extra health for bounty. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, River, you're in the way. There's the Bane. R okay. Uh, River, do you have a bounty right now? You do not. Okay, because I could use you and knock you down a little bit. Tempted to fight the Bane, but he's going to take two extra dice from my rot. I could just lose and then gain another rot. Since that's kind of what I'm shooting for right now. Hmm. I really don't want to fight River. Oh, whatever. We'll just go for it. Do you mind getting advice hints when it comes to the game, or is that a bit too backseatish? Just asking. Um, I've played 
enough at this point that I get kind of most of what's going on. Um, so a little hint here and there wouldn't be too bad. Just, um, you know, don't like like 50 things all at once. But um, but no, I don't I don't mind a hint here or there maybe to help me out. Um, think of things I haven't thought of before because right now I am trying to shoot for rot winds. Cool, cool, awesome, yeah. I am trying to shoot for rot winds because I'm trying to get that... Oh, I actually want, got her. Nice. Um, going for... I think it's a set of dice. I'm trying to unlock a set of dice for getting six rot winds or something like that. I'd have to look it up, look it up again for the specifics, but... Um, right now, I'm just... I'm kind of just trying to unlock stuff, as much stuff as I can, so... Um, Kind of game that's easy to learn, hard to master. Absolutely. Uh, and I know which one you're talking about. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Um, let's see. She's hiding in the forest. I can't do anything about that. Uh, let's see. Horus. Yeah, you're pretty good. All right. We're just going to call it. Um, and that could... And you actually still need to unlock those yourself. Nice. Because the rot, the rot win is hard because... To me, the prestige win is probably the easiest because if, if you're going for it, um, just build up a lot of prestige, which isn't super hard, and just kind of wait it out and make sure nobody takes out the king before the end of the game, right? Yeah, rot win is one of the hardest um, because building rot is very situational sometimes because you either have to get the right items like the Bane's Blade or something like that. Or you have to lose to a bunch of Banes. Or you get the right cards or something, so it's very situational. The Kingslayer... The Kingslayer can be hard, too. Um, I think the Kingslayer is the second hardest, honestly, because then you just have to actually be strong enough to face the King and have your setup right and then not die when you face the King, because I've done several Kingslayer attempts, but it, he's also killed me at the same time, which means whoever had highest prestige after that became the prestige winner. So it's, that one was hard too. Okay. Uh, no battle between heroes or every hero in Kingsguard suffers minus two health. If not on settlement palace, eh, let's do that. I don't want to fight anybody right now. Anyway. Yeah. You need to make sure you got the best equips possible for Kingslayer to work out. Yeah. I did finally get the achievement though, where I got the mirror cape and, um, copied the king's crown. That was a nice achievement to get because that's very situational too. A lot of the achievements and stuff are very situational. Not a big fan of that necessarily. Oh, I'm going to do some damage. Going to take some damage. Actually, I think I'm going to kill him. Yeah, I'm going to kill him. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I'm not going to shoot for um, all of the achievements. I'm going to get what I can get. And um, just because they're way too situational. Um, but I am going to try and get all of the rings unlocked, which is, I mean, win so many times with each clan and get to the second level with each character. And that pretty much gets all your rings. So that's what I'm shooting for right now. Plus two body. I like that one. Bark skin is nice. Um, let's capture the village. Get the quest. All right. You, find, run, you arrive to find a small mouse desperately trying to drag a large treasure box from a broken down caravan. He isn't making good progress. Okay, 60%. Only lose one health if I fail. So yeah, we'll totally do this. Ah, sweet. Damn, doing good this round. You, with your superior strength, you escape with the treasure, even splitting it with the mouse. You reclaim a Bear Clan heirloom as a reward. Yeah, right? I have had an 80% victory chance and lost. That one ticked me off. Okay, wits during the day, one spirit at night. And what do I have again? Prestige claim per settlement. I like that. Uh, plus one die in perils. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Because I want, I like the prestige. 
Let's see, what else, what else, what else? Um, okay, I'm not doing great health-wise, so I kind of want to use this. Plus, it's day, so my magic's going to refill anyway. Is there anyone I can use that on, want to use that on? Not really. So I'll just uh, play the hero or tile. I guess I could place it somewhere. Because uh, I have a feeling I'm going to go over here next. So, actually, you know what? Let's protect. Let's protect my town. Put it on my town. That works. And then, I don't care about that. Let's go in here. And color good. Okay. So my ultimate goal is to get all the rings, which means get everybody at level two, so many wins with each clan, and then um, get at least one character to level 10, and I want to do that with Hargrave. Because so far, I was debating between River and Hargrave, um, but I think I like Hargrave a little more. But River's really close up there, too. I like her as well. So, and then once I get to that point, I might move on to a different game because I have some other games that I want to play and just kind of leave this in the back burner to, yeah, Hargrave is a fun one, yeah. Um, in the back burner, like I could play on special occasions or if I ever do like a marathon day or something, this could be something that could take up a couple hours, but, um, but it's starting to get really samey, you know what I mean? So... I would like to try and get all the cards, but some of those... Like, I have most of the main cards, but, like, the companion cards and treasure cards, I think, are most of the ones that I still have yet to get. And those, once again, are very situational, so... Ooh, he got me! I'm gonna get him, though. But that should give me more rot. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I think our mellow is at most fun when played with friends. Totally. And um, I do have one uh, guy that I know <laughs> that just recently found We just recently found out we each have our mellow, but he hasn't hardly played it much at all. His brother told him about the game. He played a little bit, but once again, it, without friends, it's not as fun, right? So, um, Winged boots. Winged boots are nice. Uh, I think I'm going to go for... Apprentice, though. Okay. Uh, what do I want? Um, let's, let's get... Ooh. God damn, geez, that card with the giant eyeball always gets me. Uh, two wits until end of next turn. I like that. Uh, I don't care for these as much. I did... Okay, where... <laughs> Where am I going? I wasn't paying attention. Um, oh, right there. Okay, perfect. Let's go this way. And geez, like one of the um, achievements is get two portals on that. And I'm like, that is so random. Especially, gosh, there was a couple sessions ago, I hit the same dungeon um, five times in a row. Three times on one turn and twice on another, and it came up with a Bane every single time. Five times in a row, same dungeon spot. I was just trying to get past it, and there was a mountain and a swamp on the other side. And I was like, I just want to get to the other side. Oh, that one drove me crazy. Yeah, yeah, that, that was a rough one. And I was Hargrave, too. That was, and it actually, so that was actually me playing off stream. I remember that now. Oh, man, that one got me good. Okay, um, two wits until end of next turn, which gives me more cards I can hold. That could be handy. Let's do that. I don't... I don't... Mm, consumables, no. Nope, that's it. Oh, yeah. So to try and get this stuff where it's like get... So many treasures in, you know, get five treasures um, by searching dungeons in one game or get two teleports in dungeons for one game. It's like, 
Achievements like that drive me crazy. Because that's you just have to play it again and again and again and again and hope that, you know, the RNG allows you to actually do something. Okay, I'm just going to use that. Get it out of there. I have no defense. We are both going to die. <sighs> yeah, we both got overkill. Nice. River. Oh, she drives me crazy sometimes. Fighting against River. River and Barnaby, I think, are the two main ones I hate playing against on AI. They always mess me up. <laughs> okay, here we go. Agent, let's see. Agent start and weave across the kingdom. Sabotage all perils in the realm. Or... Two, two gold to enter a settlement. Well, I have a lot of gold. My current quest is in a settlement. So either I'm going to have... Which has a peril right now and a bane. So I'm either going to increase the difficulty of that peril or I'm going to have to pay two gold in order to get on it. Before I even face the peril or the bane, I think. And then if the bane kicks me off, then I have to keep paying two gold. Yeah. Just do the peril, whatever. I think when it comes to public multiplayer, Twists and Elysia players are menaces. Can confirm as a former Elysia man. I have not had that much of experience with Elysia. Um, she was kind of cool when I uh, did one round with her. Twists, yeah, Twists can be a pain. I, I agree. Twists is like probably my third one that I don't like going against. Um, okay, what do I have? Uh, so now the spell. Change to shield. I actually may want to use that and get rid of that rod. For now. Uh, scout. I don't ever use that one. Um, one health per wound inflicted. Okay. Okay, straight shot again. Let's do this again. Anything good? Anything good? Gold? I can take gold. Alright, let's go there. Oh, a Bane's not on there. Horus killed the Bane. That's right. I gotta find Horus. What are you doing? Really hard for everyone else to navigate the map, especially if she gets to all the settlements. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I I could totally see that. I... I don't know. I've never really focused on settlements that much unless I was going for a rot... And I use that charm where you terrorize the settlement, which gains you a rot. I mean, you take away a prestige, you gain a rot, and some gold, I think. Just to help build the rot faster. But otherwise, I don't pay a whole lot of attention to settlements because they always get stolen, like, right away, it seems like. So, that's... I don't know. But as Alicia, if you can protect them, then that makes it all the better. Um, let's... I only have one left anyway. Let's do that. Every hero has its own play style they're best with. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Uh, mm, yeah, I'm just gonna hold on to those. Alright. You gonna fight me? No, but you're gonna take over my other town. Jerk. Oh, I killed him! <laughs> nice! Right on. My peril killed him. That almost never happens. <laughs> Especially when it's my peril. <laughs> Nazar is just not having luck with fights.
Okay, um, I'm going around the Bane for the moment. Let's see. Uh, actually, let's take back my town real quick. And then go here. All right, villages bustling when you arrive, though you quickly learn it's because your friend is being auctioned on the slave block. Well, that sucks. Um, negotiate your friend's release or start a riot. Well, okay. I want to try and get the apprentice. Minus one prestige. I'm doing pretty good on prestige right now. Ugh, but my odds are not good. Ooh, yep, yeah, thought so. I think the thing about AI that bothers me the most is that they almost never keep cards for later. Nine times out of ten, they'll use every card they can as soon as they can. Yeah, I could totally see that. Um, yeah, there's... There's not a lot of strategy, and sometimes if they single you out, they will come after you. I had River do that on one game. That's one of the reasons why River is on my hate list for facing her. I love being her, but I hate facing her because she just came after me on one game. It was crazy. Okay, I uh, can't move anymore. Scout, I really don't care. So yeah, we're good. It's so funny hearing that because in multiplayer, River is kind of weak, all things considered. Really? That's interesting because her ability is kind of awesome where she gets like an attack in before she goes, which I've actually used to my advantage because um, she has an achievement, which I have not, which is also very situational, where you kill three people in one turn using her special ability. So that means you have to literally be surrounded by people with one health left. Um, very situational, but I had two people next to me and th that only had one health left, and that was quite handy. <laughs> but getting that extra hit in on people before you even start fighting is kind of nice. It, so it is easy to outplay? Okay. Uh, the king's opened a portal. Three more banes. That's more banes. I'm good with more banes. Yeah, because I think I've already lost the rot win at this point. I think I've gone too long without getting enough rot, so... I'm just going to have to try and shoot for his prestige. Uh, okay, alchemist. I like the alchemist. The alchemist is cool. Uh, royal banner, plus three prestige. Oh, is everyone on prestige, by the way? One, two, one. Oh, I'm way ahead on prestige. Okay. Um, I really like the alchemist. And that gives me more strength. I could deal with strength. Right where River is. Okay. Um, I have a lot of money right now. Another ranger? Why? This this is what gets me too is I wonder does each character have a set certain cards in their decks that they pull because I feel like I keep like with a character I keep getting the same cards or is that random I don't know but um the deck is shared between all players Doesn't sound well. Yeah. So so they all have equal opportunity to get the same cards. Okay. All right. Uh, plus one rot poisoned until end of next turn. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that will actually give me rot. I like that. Who could I drop that on? Okay. Nazar safe. Could go after River. He's at full health. She's uh, she's doing okay. Um, guards in the way. I could sneak around that way. If someone draws a card that is only once in a deck, nobody else will be able to draw that card unless the deck shuffles, which is really rare. Huh. Okay. Okay, let's go this way. Um, let's see. Can I reach? I can't reach her. So I guess I'll put it on Horus. Plus one rot poison until end of next turn. Scout. 
Okay, they're all shields. Uh, by the way, you can press tab to see the summary that usually only shows up. When a day starts at any point, it's faster than constantly opening the hero shelf to check rot and prestige. Tab. Okay. Oh, okay, so that's if I just want to check prestige or rot. That's a fast way to do it. Okay, cool. Nice. Right on. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm killing everybody on rot and prestige. Nice. All right. Um, so I gave that to him. I'm not. Don't want to use anything else. Other, I mean, they're free. Why not? Just get them out of my hand. There. Okay. We'll do that. Okay. Yeah, I haven't actually learned any of the keyboard things yet. I just strictly use my mouse. So, thanks for that tip. I appreciate that. You are both in the way. Because this is the other thing that kind of gets me about the AI. They'd also, most of the time, right, uh, don't complete their quests, it seems like. Like, they'll complete one or two, and then they go after the king, and it's like, what are you thinking? Like, you, you're you definitely not going to win with a rot. You don't have enough rot. Or, you, or they're trying to attack him, and they have almost no health, and, like, not a great setup. And I'm like, Why? But whatever. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's get some. Ooh, teleport. Teleports. Nice. Ooh, banish. Yeah. Um. Fire. The AR is set to breach the palace after a certain amount of turns, which very rarely happens in multiplayer. Yeah. Well, and sometimes they don't attack the palace at all, and it's I don't know. Weird. Um. Claim a settlement. Ooh, I like that. Oh, you guys suck. Okay, teleport to the furthest dungeon. Which would probably be up there. I don't want that. Well, I don't know. Is that better? What are you two at, anyway? Three. It is night. I have decent cards. Could banish someone out of your way. That is true. Hmm, that is true. Hmm. Or do I want to fight them? He has a rot, which would give me an extra dice. I almost want to see if I can take on Horus. So he's a 6-6-4-2. Six, six, one rot. <laughs> Let's see. And I'm at 7, seven attack. He's at 6. His one rot would give me an extra dice. What is his cards at? Minus one action point. Three shields. Ooh. Ugh. Ah, and pierce. I don't think that's worth it. Okay. Okay. We'll do that. Ow. And heal up. Okay. Uh, otherwise, that's about all I can do. Uh, let's claim a settlement. Do I want to claim... I have a ton of gold. That bane is going to take over that settlement. Let's do this one. Okay. And there we go. Okay. Now leave my village alone. I don't like playing as Nazar because I always forget to do the uh, the split body thing. I don't find his v all that helpful. It might be better on multiplayer to fool folks, but I don't know. So far, I haven't found his very useful. Um, 
Discard the cards in their hand. I would not be too upset with that. Uh, unclaimed sentiment. Nazar is still tricky on multiplayer, but definitely better. Yeah. Build city walls defended by mercenaries and agents of misfortune. Nope. I think this is good because I don't care for my deck right now anyway. My hand. Ooh, he did. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's go. Spell. I like. Trickery. Steal one gold from another pack member. Then you get stuff like this, like, towards the end where they're not very useful. <laughs> uh, spell. Steal one health unless target is protected by stone wards. That could be handy. And, it gained, and that would get me corrupted. Which could be handy. Um, packed plus one gold. So I could gain a gold, and then I can also blackmail and steal a gold. Okay. Uh, yes, that's what I wanted. Plus two health. Okay. Excellent. Uh, let's do this first. Let's get this out of the way. You've arrived to find citizens petrified with fear. The only other warrior to show is an old wolf clan warrior looking for one last battle. All right, well, I have a 70% chance. I only lose health. So these are really good odds. Sweet. Okay, so that's good. I love the alchemist. The alchemist is nice. Um, now, who... is around... Nazar, no. Oh, River. She's right there. Ooh, okay. Well, you did this to me, so I'm going to do it to you. Fair's fair. Alright, steal a health. Um, steal one gold from other pack member every turn. You have ten gold. Where is Horus? He was over here. There he is. What does he have? Three gold. Okay, so let's do that. And then we will do blackmail you. Uh, let's see. What are you at? Five and five. Our rots would cancel out. But now that I'm corrupted, if I kill him, my rot goes up. So let me get this town. And uh, let's attack him. Alchemist is so good, yes. Definitely one of my favorite companions. And I really like the artwork on that one, too. I like the artwork on a lot of these. They did a really good job. Oh my gosh, am I not going to get any defense? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Boom! Yeah, buddy. Plus one health, plus one rot. Okay, I can't move anymore. Ooh, cause she's probably gonna attack me, so I better do that. She is not on a forest. I will hold on to that, cause shields are something I don't have. I don't usually get much in this round for some reason. Okay. Horus taking over the town. Horus is neat. I think Horus would be good for a Kingslayer, because the one time I played him, entering the palace, I want to say either two-thirds or three-quarters of the time, by the time I'm ready to enter the palace, a guard moves into the tile that I need to go to and blocks me and ends up beating me back a lot. 
Horus was nice because he just flips places with guards, and that's really cool. <laughs> okay, oh, she's got Feral on. Okay, so yeah, let's burn a shield and go for it. Yeah, Horus is, no offense intended, the dumb fight. The dumb fight type of hero? Yeah, I can see that. Ooh, that hurt. But that's okay, because I'm killing her too. Double kill. I think I had a bounty anyway. I guess rid of my bounty. And I think that sets me up in a good place, because I should... Yeah, I should have completed all my quests, and I could go to the palace now if I wanted. Don't think I have near enough rot for that. Yeah, palace entry. Because the king... Okay, well, let's do this. Um, spell... Minus one health per point of target's rot. Ooh, that could be handy. Uh, minus two rot, don't care. Uh, claim target settlement, could be handy. Plus one sword. I actually want a defense equipable, since I'm having such a hard time with that. Okay, the king. Oh, I've got time. I've got time, and he's only at seven rot? Really? I thought he'd be higher by now. Okay, no, I totally got time. Um could potentially pull this off. Let me get over here to this bane. A spirit stone, finally. I have had a few spirit stone wins. Nah. Um, that's probably the second easiest win, because they're fairly easy to collect. Not always, but most of the time. Three times likely to roll an attack than a defense. Well, I mean, it doesn't help that, um, well, when you're not corrupt, that uh, a wild is automatically an attack, or when you are corrupt, that a rot is automatically attack. Like, that doesn't help things. So, you have two that can go towards attack. Okay, minus one, minus two rot. Um... I mean, that's a shield. That's not going to do me any good. Uh... Actually, because he's at six rot. Swords, wild rots, and sun moons are all attack. But are but now that I'm corrupt, are wilds attack? Well, yeah, and sun yeah, suns and moons can be attacked. Um. Yeah, wild slash... I mean, because rot's an attack when you're... Yeah. Sun, and suns and moons, depending on which time of day. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, but doing it that way doesn't give me an extra rot, so I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. Oh, well. Are there many other Banes out right now? I think it's just that one. Okay, well, that's fine. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, we'll just leave it. Okay. So, yeah. So, you have potentially three attack rolls. Two nil and one defense. Yeah. Okay, he's down to two. It gives me some time. Hero. Some uh, pass around the renown. Nope. Uh, guards to hunt all heroes under the cover of darkness. King's guard moves. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Shall know my rule. You think there would be a chance for playing matches with viewers at some point in the future? Yes, I would like that. I just need more viewers. <laughs> um, 
No, I think that would be fun. I think it'd be fun to set that up someday. Um, uh, we just have to. I'd have to know when a good time would be. Um, I'd have to have it at a day where I could actually sit down and do something like that. But it would have to be. I would like a few more viewers because, yeah, right. Because honestly, you're the first one to actually chat with me in several sessions. So. But I am still kind of new and just getting started, so I'm trying to build that up. So, so we're we're getting there, slow but sure. We're, we're getting there. But yeah, no, I would to I would totally be down to do some multiplayer matches with viewers at some point. Um, just got to get that coordinated. Okay, what am I doing? Um, let's, ooh, explode pool. I don't care. I don't care. That one's not bad. Um, I only managed to find you by looking up Armello on YouTube and sorting by upload date. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, um, Monstar Gaming found me just because I was playing Armello. So you're you're my second Armello uh, follow, <laughs> which is cool. I don't mind. It's all good. I'm actually glad, honestly, that a game, specifically a game, is, is getting me followers. So, Which, on one hand, kind of makes me sad that it's, I'm going to put it away for uh, temporarily or... You know, just have it as kind of a backup game at some point, but it's okay. Um, okay, I do like this one, though. Um, plus one magic. Where am I going? Nazar. Let's do that. And do I want to even bother? You have zero rot. Sure, why not? I have a lot of cards I can burn. Stuff I need to get rid of anyway. Okay, um... Uh, okay. Let's do an attack. Let's do... Get rid of that one. Yeah, I should do that. Uh, it's really hard to find streamers I can watch easily with my schedule. Yeah, I can totally get that, too, because there's there's only one streamer that I... Well, I joined Twitch to watch one streamer in particular, because he does a lot of YouTube stuff, too. And um, he had a lot of cool, like, uh, people on his chat talking and stuff like that. I'm like, yeah, I want to be a part of that. And But he, he's, he streams, like, various times throughout the week, like probably six or seven different sessions and I I cannot make them all I can make two maybe three in a week um, and sometimes I don't even make that hardly anymore since I started streaming too so I was watching another guy I haven't seen watched any of his streams in weeks so yeah I totally get that especially around right now there's so much going on with Christmas coming up and holidays and extra work and overtime and Yeah, it's understandable. See? And there he goes. A guard. With one day left. Yeah, so in the morning, he's going to be down to one health. And the guard moved into that spot. On the last day. Okay. Drives me crazy. Minus two rot. Uh, I don't have any rot. I have found it's best to enter the palace during the day, though. Because that's after the guards move. And because you're going to get a bounty. And if there's like five guards next to you and you move on there at night, they all attack you the next morning. And that, unless you're prepared for it, that sucks. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, let's do that. Uh, I wish there were more Banes out. Could. Um, you know what? Let's... Yeah. 
That is a lesson I have learned. I don't have the rot that I need. And the Banes already moved. I don't know. Um, nah, let's just go here. Oh, I wish I could put a bounty on his head and make the guard attack him in the morning. Um, doesn't do him in battle until end of next turn. All rolled swords gain poison. Eh? Yeah, I have a ton of money. Yeah, screw it. Uh, minus two rot. I don't want to use that. Uh, claim target settlement. Is there even one close by that's worth it? That I could actually do something about? Maybe. Oh, I could do that one. Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. Uh, the exception is if you have a card like Hot Rot Wine or Strategist. They are, if used correctly, quite overpowered. I remember getting them. I don't remember what they do. And I feel like those are... Um, yeah, ones that don't come around very often. I do remember Hot Rot Wine. I just don't remember what it does. Um, I have two Mountain Mosses. Ugh. Both useless to me right now. Give you an extra AP, which you can use while in the palace after your AP is reduced to zero. Ah. That's right. I do remember. I do remember using it, but I wasn't in the palace. That is actually pretty, pretty clever. I didn't think of that. Huh. Like I, said, I think I've only got one of those once, so. And what this uh, minus one body to everybody. This is nice. I love getting this one right before. <laughs> yes, that will do nicely. Although, I... I really don't think I should attack the king because I don't have enough rot to face him. Because I'm just going to give him six extra dice. I'm just going to give him six extra dice. My health is really low. I'm down to three health. I don't think it's worth facing him. I think I'm just going to try and go for the prestige win. Just so that I can have a win. They are quite rare. If I remember, there are only two Hot Rot Wines and one Strategist in the Trickery. Yeah. Oh, hey, look! Hot Rot Wine! <laughs> I, didn't even, I wasn't even paying attention. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of, yeah. Still, I still need defense, though. That, or I need something that's going to give me more Rot, because the King should be at well, he's probably at 8 rot now. Yeah, he's at 8 rot, so I would need 2 rot. In order to break even, and then neither one of us gains an advantage. And I just don't have it. Unless, well, now that I have the hot rot, hot rot wine, I could enter at night, if I gain enough rot by then. Yeah, I'm just going to have to stay outside of the palace for now. All right, let's see if I can get some more defense. Well, it's defense. Um, And actually... I feel like that one's not as important anymore. Okay, um... Yeah, plus one action point, minus one health. Well, gain a rot. So I gain a rot already from that. So that's one. Because he no, he's going to gain another rot at night, right? That's when he gains rot. So he's going to have nine by nightfall. So I still need two more. Okay. 
Um, no matter what, I need more health. <laughs> so let's do that. Um, I, I can't, these are useless to me. I can't even use them in, in battle. <sighs> what do I want to do? What do I want to do? We're going to get you. For what reason? I don't know. All right. Let's see if I can summon a Bane. Of course, the time I want a Bane, he's not going to appear for me. Great. Well, he's going to appear at night. He's going to push me off and attack me, and I can get a rot that way. Hot rot wine. I don't know. And see what other cards I pull. We're just going to have to go for that. Otherwise, I'm just going to hold out for the prestige win. Oh, you better not. Okay, good. Ugh. Oh, she's going to try now. What do you got? Oh, no! Ooh, that's not good. With but one good sky, they arise. How much health does she have? Okay, Bane. Attack me. No? Rude! I could still get on to the palace, though. Um, okay, spell. Plus one. Ooh, plus one rot. And one random rot spell card in target's hand. I could use that. Okay. Minus two health, suns explode until end of next turn. Okay, how much health does she have? She has a lot of health. Dang it. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Um alright, let's do let's do this. This oh man. I'm gonna have to play this just right. And hope RNG's in my favor. <laughs> Okay, um, now let's just go for it. I have so many dice, there should be no reason why I can't take this guy out. Yeah, I actually have enough defense. Nice. He's not going to do a thing to me. Okay, cool. Locked it all. He's dead. Dark influence plus one rot. Exactly. And then the hot rot wine. Okay, so Dark Influence. Um, the cost is four magic, which I have enough. So plus one rot and a random rot spell card. So let's do that. And I got Plague, plus one rot, poison until end of next turn, which I can play to a settlement or swamp, which I'm going to do. Uh, you are going to go right there. Bam. Okay. So that's another rot. And then we are just going to go straight to the palace. Enter the palace. I got the palace key, so I don't have to worry about the peril. Perfect. Now I'm going to use the hot rot wine. Okay. I have ten rot. He has, what, nine? Nine rot. So that's going to give me nine extra dice. Those two are still useless because I can't play them on the... Can I play them on the king? Which I don't want to play because I want the extra dice from the rot. So that doesn't make any sense. Mm, I could... Shoot. I could, can I just kill him? No. Oh, I can't afford... I don't have enough magic. So that doesn't matter anyway. Okay, so I can't do anything with that. So we're going to do that. Let's attack the king and win. Maybe. If not, I just blew a win because everyone, all my prestige. Oh, so many dice. All right. I, and he only has seven dice. Oh, yeah. Okay. We could totally do this. All right. Let's do this. Just give me enough defense to survive. That's all that matters. Okay. I've got. Oh, and he does that thing. Jeez. Oh, 
I am gonna survive. I have just enough. No, he killed me! Oh, I looked at it wrong. No! <sighs> river. Of course it's river. <laughs> and everything going in my favor. <sighs> this game is mean. This game is mean. Okay, but I got the next ring. I got Brun's ring, so that's good. Amethyst. Okay, so let's... Uh, the Amethyst... What does the Amethyst do? Uh, bears. Amethyst. One magic for every spell card burned. That's cool. Two for each rot spell card burned. Okay, if you're going for the magic... Yeah, okay. That's cool. I don't do magic very often, but that could be cool. Alright, so... Um, uh, Amethyst is a really good ring on most bears, but it can be very tricky to make good use of. Yeah, I think because most bears are, are magic-based, I've noticed. Um, okay. So I am going to play one more round uh, tonight, but I usually take, like, just like a five minute break uh, in between rounds. So I'm just going to break for a few minutes. I'll be back around five minutes and then we'll pick up um, another round. So see you in a few.